I'm your host with the most local 23, joining me for Check Me Sweetly, Chapter 5. It's been two days since it was revealed that Sebastian killed and turned Fiona. I can't believe I thought he was going to ask me out. I could die of embarrassment. As it turns out, he was trying to encourage a relationship with Vincent. The truth is, I would totally be in a relationship with Vincent if he asked, but there's something about him. Hey, you. Are you coming to breakfast or what? Oh, Brian. Something is that he is annoying. You shake your head before you realize that he can't see you through the closed door. I'll be there in a minute, and you know my name isn't Hey, you. It occurs to you that after the fact, the entire house can probably hear this. It drives me crazy and makes me forget my manners. Well, if you don't hurry up, I'm going to start calling you late. If there were any lasers in your eyes, they would burn through the door and pierce his vampiric heart. How about you try Emily, since that's my name. Yeah, Emily would be nice. You jerk open the door to find Vincent standing directly on the other side. Every time he's near, your pulse jumps and your heart beats erratically. About time. Come on, let's go. I have an errand to run after we eat. Sebastian must have his wires crossed. Vincent really doesn't seem that into me. Where are you going? Out. Why? You writing a book? Yeah, it's called Where's Vincent Going? <laughs> that was dumb as shit. You snake at your own <laughs> Yeah, pretty much you snicker at your own joke and notice that he's trying to hide a grin. You're a little funny. Late? Yeah, and you're a joke a minute. His hand brushes against yours and then captures it. You give him a startled look. I'm going to grip his hand back. You take a deep breath and grip his hand back. He hesitates and grins. So why are you in such a hurry this morning? Holding his hand feels like a most natural thing in the world right now. Oh, I have errands to run. So where are you going? I have to run in the store to pick up supplies. You walk slow. I don't walk slow. I walk at normal speed. Why are you nearly running all the time? I'm not running. I walk at vam vampire speed. Well, slow down. Vincent, I'm going stir crazy here. Bring me with you. To the kitchen? I am. I'm walking there with you now. You're not making any sense, Emily. What? No, not the kitchen. To the store. Bring me to the store. Vincent just grunts and hauls you into the kitchen. Samuel, Vincent's best friend, is there eating a bowl of cereal when you arrive. Oh, this guy's new. What's up? He waves a spoon in greeting. I'm trying to convince Vincent to bring me to the store. I said no. You didn't say no. You just grunted at me like some caveman. <laughs> Why can't we just take her with us? It would be fun. Going to the store isn't fun. It could be if you brought me with you. Fiona enters the kitchen, tossing an apple, possibly high in the air, and then catching it. Oh, you're going to the store? I need a few things. Got a list? Fiona, tell Vincent to let me go to the store. Vincent, let me go to the store. And <laughs> the vampires burst into laughter, and you roll your eyes. That's not funny. It was kind of funny. Please, I've been cooped up in this house for a week. Nobody's going to see me at the store. Chances are high that actually someone could actually see you. I really need to come up with a way of convincing them. I can sit in the car. It's a school day and my parents are at work. Nobody's going to see me. I'll sit in the car. Like a dog? Will you be a good girl? <laughs> Sam Hill starts barking, which is definitely deserving of the elbow you shove into his gut. You're not helping me here, Vin Samuel. Vincent, please. I am literally begging you. I will get down on my knees and plead. Just let me go. Nobody will see me. Fine. Just stop talking. You want eggs over easy or scrambled? Scrambled? The way you do them with cheese, please? How did you get to be such a great cook? Are you complimenting my cooking just because you got your way? Absolutely not. Vincent slides scrambled eggs, piled high with cheese and and chives onto your plate. 
A smile is teasing as he sits down at the table and your breath hitches. I'd never joke about how good your food is. So the list? Text it to Samuel, he's keeping track. Okay, but seriously, don't let anyone see Emily. We're already in enough trouble as it is. Yeah, I heard you told her the big secret. Is nothing sacred in this house? Nope. Samuel grins and continues eating while Fiona throws her hands up and stalks off. You have a weird family. Tell me about it. Vincent meets your grin across the table and butterflies tumble around in your stomach. He's so gorgeous when he smiles. He should do it more. So, the store? I mean, you guys could sit there and stare at each other all day, but we got things to do. Uh... Yeah, I'm looking at a real ass. <laughs> Nothing much to stare at. Nothing to see here. Move along. Give Samuel a smirk and truck. Nothing much to look at here. Excuse me. If anything, you should pay to feast your eyes on this magnificence. I'm practically a god. You keep telling yourself that, honey. You guys crack me up. Despite Rutherford Manor being nestled to the woods, it's surprisingly close to town. It only takes a few minutes to make the drive. You're pulling into the parking lot sooner than you expected. I thought the house was farther outside of town. No, the magic that hides our land just makes it seem that way. Sam, got the list? Yeah, we leave an Emily in the car. Vincent breathes a heavy sigh. I promise I won't try to run. You give him your best innocent smile. Besides, where would I run to that you couldn't find me? She's got a point there. Okay, fine. But stick to me like glue. No wandering off. I promise. The store is virtually deserted. And you'd guessed and shopped with Vincent is surprisingly fun. Favorite hero? Hmm. Guess. And what do I do if I guess right? Guess and find out. <laughs> Kill Chocula! <laughs> it makes so much awesome sense figuring he's a vampire. Kill Chocula, Fruity Loops, Lucky Charms. Let's go with Kill Chocula. Oh, you're definitely a Kill Chocula guy. Really? Because you wanna suck its blue. or. Chocolate! You're a dork. What's yours? Vincent! Samuel looks panicked and he runs up. Packaged food is trailing him down the aisle. What's wrong? Vincent's body tenses as he goes on high alert. I just saw Philip and... What the hell is Philip doing here? Of all the damn luck! Okay, we gotta go now. Just put your stuff on the ground and follow me. What? Who's Philip? Before Vincent can respond, a gorgeous woman slides her arms around Vincent's shoulders. Vincent, darling, why haven't you called? Hmm, I thought you were going to, you know, spend some time together. It's obvious from the sound of her voice that she means something that involves getting naked. It's hard to stamp down your jealousy, but Vincent said not to draw attention to yourself. Oh, you were serious. I didn't think you did more than one night stands. Hmm. I see your class of girl has dropped considerably. Really, Vincent, bringing your snacks to the store with you now? Is this girl for real? I'm going to... ignore her. You give her a bored look and turn back to the cereal in the aisle. Oh! Is she deaf or just simple? She's not worth your time, Emily. <sighs> ignore her. Mm, that's probably with inbred human folk. I hope it doesn't spoil your meal, Vincent. Your fist clenches as you fantasize about ripping off her obviously fake lashes when a voice interrupts. Who is this delightful person you're with, Vivi? A pair of firm hands lands on your shoulders and squeezes, preventing any escape. A servant. What are you doing here, Philip? Did he just call me a servant? Now, Vincent, we both know this isn't a servant. His voice is chiding as he shakes his head with a little tisk. 
I was told that she wouldn't be allowed out of the manor until the court made a decision. So pretend you didn't see her, and we'll make our way back there. Vincent goes still while he waits for Philip to answer. You're not sure if he's going to fight or fly. Philip doesn't answer right away. He's staring down the aisle as a stranger with pale and sil with silver hair. Oh, Vincent, do you really wish that I could just pretend she was near? So, why can't you? Uh, Vince, look behind you. Vince glances over his shoulder and his body goes rigid. Emily, turn around and start walking. Samuel, follow her to the end of the aisle and then get her to the car. The stranger is stalking towards your group. The look of menace wars it with his delight at discovering you. Who is that? Vincent is trying to push you along when you hear a sinister voice ask. Who's your new friend, Vivi? Go. The quiet pleading in his tone has turned to has you turning around to head in the opposite direction. But now. His voice is quiet with the force of a roar. Samuel Casual follows you loudly, he says. Oh, I, I think I forgot the frozen peas. Will you help me find them? Throwing a look of confusion at him, you shake your head and whisper. What, what are you doing? Just play along. As soon as you're out of sight, he picks you up and speeds out of the store into the car. What in the hell is going on, Samuel? We need to get out of here right now. We're in so much trouble, I... Actually, I'm afraid to go home. What? Why? Because I think Ashton saw you. No, I know he did. Shit! Wait, the evil cousin Ashton? Panic fills your heart, making it hard to breathe. And we left Vincent in there? Samuel, if something happens to him... A bloody fist slams in the car, and you scream. Vincent climbs in the driver's seat and starts the car. His shirt is torn, and there's blood running freely down his arm. What in the hell happened in there? <sighs> we are so... Ugh. Um... I'd like to know what just happened! <laughs> I... I feel so confused and bamboozled! Okay, then. Um, wow, I look forward to the next chapter. With that being said, I hope you all did enjoy as well. Let me know in the comment section below if you did or didn't. Also, um, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, head to the description below if you want to follow me on social media or if you want to support my channel, which is always greatly appreciated. There's a couple links for that. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next incredible episode. Peace.